Hello. How are we doing? Oh my God. Uh, it has been a day and a half. I'll tell you that. Hi, everybody. How are we doing? So I did a little testing first. Uh, the Sims 1 turned on. My OBS was capturing it. The only thing that The Sims 1 does not like is Alt Tab. Like if you try to like, even if you have two monitors or three monitors or like one of those Simsy super big monitors, like if you try to click anything except The Sims, it will not let you. So when we start playing, we're not gonna have like wheels or anything. Like anything that requires me to leave the game, no, <laughs> it's not gonna happen. So we're it's, it's gonna be chaotic anyway. You can't really force pregnancy in The Sims 1, so we'll see what happens. Hi, everybody. Hi, Phoenix. Oh my god, the party hats. I can feel it. I feel it in my bones. Joe and Ariana say, hope everyone's having a good day. Thank you. My day is amazing now. My goodness. Oh, and also before we get started, so I have like tentative plans. My friends all like live in the same neighborhood as me. So I'm not sure how long I'll stream. Like, I don't know if I'm going to go like shorter or like longer. I, I, I probably won't go over two hours, but if my friend gets gets his act together, then I might have to abruptly leave. So but I'm going to give us some some Sims one fun at least because I said I was going to do it and I committed to it. So here we are. Natalie says, hello, I'm on my last day of work before holidays. Shh, don't tell them I'm here. Yeah, okay, like, this was my last day of work before holidays, and, like, I haven't had that much to do at work since, like, Tuesday, and, like, guess what I got after lunch? A giant pile of work. So I'm like, oh, my God, like, really? But you know what? I like having work more than I like having no work, so if that kind of makes sense. So the day went by quickly. I can do the rest on Tuesday. Hi, Candy Queen. How are you? Hi, him. Natalie's Natalie's secret is safe with us. Absolutely. Like I'm not I'm just broadcasting it on the Internet. You know, no one will find out. Star stuff. Oh, we're playing The Sims 1 today. We are doing a Sims 1 because I kind of like half planned to play The Sims 1 a couple weeks ago and then people kept talking about it. So I'm like, OK, we'll just do like a Sims 1 live stream before the long weekend. So this is like our introduction to the long weekend. Depending on where you are in the world, it might not be a long weekend, but in Canada, usually Good Friday, like tomorrow is always a holiday. Usually Monday isn't, but I'm in a very religious part of Canada, so we get Monday off as well. Hey everyone, hey Rec. Ilgin says, finally caught, caught you live, yay. And we're not even doing the 100 Baby Challenge today. If you missed the last episode of the 100 Baby Challenge, like, we're going to do it again on Tuesday, probably. But the last episode, we had a death. We lost, one of the kids died. So I'm like, okay, like, we got to, maybe having 20 Sims in the household was not the best idea. But who knows? We'll see. You know me, I'll probably have quadruplets, and then we'll be kind of further along than we were before. It's going to be a good time, absolutely. Hi, Monica, good to see you. Monica Oliviera, it sounds like an actress name. My supervisor gave me a project and I got excited and I forgot to eat lunch. I get to make a presentation about measles. I'm sure that's something you're very passionate about, especially in 2024. We have had 12 cases of measles in Montreal, 12. Like, my goodness. R.I.P. Rugrat, honestly. Hi, CJ. And no, we're not playing The Sims 4. We don't know her. We, we don't like her. She can't sit with us. Literally. In Mexico, we get Thursday and Friday. Yes, because I went to Catholic school, so I remember, like, Thursday is called, like, Shrove Tuesday. Sorry, Shrove Thursday or Holy Thursday or something. We never got it off school, but we all knew that it was something. So that would make sense. Lucky Monday off. Honest, yeah, like, I mean, like, I'll take it because we have not had a holiday since New Year's Day. So January 1st was our last holiday and we came back from like Christmas break. I shouldn't complain because I do get like Christmas time off and I do get like a couple weeks off in the summer. So it's not like, you know, like there's no holidays. But in terms of like the Canadian holidays, like January 1st, 
and then tomorrow. So it's been three whole months, no holiday. Are we playing Minecraft? I've never heard of that game. Is it popular? Totally agreed on Sims 4. She can't sit with us. This is not a Sims 4 safe space. <laughs> not at all. Monday, Thursday, Shrove Tuesday is just Mardi Gras. Okay, I got that mixed up. Is Shrove Tuesday like the pancake day? If anyone knows what I'm talking about. <laughs> I don't know, that might just be a, a Canadian thing. Where I live, we get Mardi Gras off. See, I wouldn't even know what day Mardi Gras is. Okay, so let's see what I can do here. I'm gonna see if I can get myself ready. I'm gonna have a sip of my limeade. And I'm gonna see if the game cooperates. I'm gonna not play any background music just because The Sims 1, because the music I play in the background of my streams, it's always The Sims 1 music. So we may as well just listen to the music in the game. Oh no, I didn't hit administrator. Sorry, one sec. I'll have to launch the game twice. And now I can't see you guys because the game has covered my entire screen. This is going well. This is gonna be a bumpy ride. It's been a long week, even though it's been a short week. I'm tired. We're gonna we're gonna get get through this together. Okay, I'm gonna do it correctly this time. Oh, and Kyle is screaming. Welcome, Kyle. Do we wanna see Kyle? Okay, ran it as administrator. It's a miracle that this game even works, so. Okay, it's already loaded, it seems. So I have to Alt-Tab to go back into this. Hi. Okay, I can see the chat. I can see me in the screen. Can we see the game? Come on, you can do it. It, I swear it was working. Here, I have an idea. Kyle. What's wrong, Kyle? Oh, there's the media player. It doesn't, it doesn't like me doing it. Oh, I'm sorry, everybody. Give me a second. I'm gonna turn the I'm gonna turn the music back on. Oh, now we can see the chat. Okay, well that's fine. That may make sense anyway. Yes, Kyle. Well, he's running around screaming, so he can be right here. Come on, Kyle. We're gonna figure this out. Because it doesn't let me select the Sims when it's minimized. Stop biting your bum on TV. Look at you. Look at you. Get your belly rub. He doesn't know what he wants to do. What I might do is I might try to just do it when the game is opening. Yes, okay, I did, okay, like there's this, there's this like two second window when I start the game that I can do it. Okay, so this is how it's gonna be. I'm gonna see if I'm allowed to like, click off of it. Okay, everything looks good. I can see everything. Oh, he's licking his bum. Piggy. Oh, he's licking his foot. Okay, that's fine. We'll allow that. Okay, let's get rid of the music. And then we'll listen to this. What happened to it? Yeah, see, it doesn't it doesn't like when I when I alt tab at all.
Okay, so we will have to do it in a way. Oh God, okay. Kyle. This game, I swear to goodness. Next time I'll just start the stream with the game already going. So I'm just gonna have to do it in a way where I don't have to click anything other than the game. Oh God. Okay. Okay, now I have the chat visible. This is a mess. Okay. There we go. How is everybody? Here we go. I have it under control. So here we are in The Sims 1. It's been a wild journey already, hasn't it? Minecraft is better than Sims 4, I absolutely agree. My grandma was talking about Palm Sunday. I don't know which day that is, that sounds familiar to me, but I, Sunday is Easter Sunday as far as I'm concerned. I think Palm Sunday is different. Kyle's decided to face the camera while licking himself now. He's flexible. He's tubby, but he's flexible. Ow. He's in a bitey mood. He's all zoomied. Sil Sil Ginger, I just saw you pop in. Hi, Alex. How are you doing? Mardi Gras is Fat Tuesday. My goodness. Yes, it's Pancake Day because pancakes were made to use ingredients the Catholic Church didn't want <laughs> used during Lent. That makes sense. Yeah, like we always had to give up something for Lent. And then I used to like get told like, you should give up chocolate bars. And I'm like, I hate chocolate. Like, you know, like what? Shouldn't I give up something I love? But I'm not giving up my Nintendo, right? That's for sure. Yes, Kyle. When do we not want to see Kyle? I don't know. He's looking weird. Just looking at, he's just gonna lie there, I think. I think that's gonna be his thing for now. Y'all, I was watching a romance show today. Oh no, this is like really loud. We might have to restart it just so I can lower the volume to something appropriate. I wish this worked better. I'm gonna see if there's a way. Okay, how is this volume for everybody? I know we probably can't see it. The hours and hours I spent playing Sims 1 back in 2000, I would fall asleep playing it. I have played an unhealthy amount of the game. Kyle, what? Oh, I know what I'm missing. Sorry, I think I, I, think I have a program that can solve this. Okay. You know what we're going to do instead? Display capture. My recycle bin is still called EA. I just have the last couple thumbnails on my desktop in the Roblox player. So there's nothing, there's nothing really to hide. So let's see. How's this go? Okay, it's working. There we go. I can do it. I can do it like this. So let me know how the volume is for everybody. It might be a little up and down because it is The Sims 1. You got this. You're doing great. We can be patient. Thank you for your patience. My God. Hi, fluffy piggy. Yeah, he's a fluffy pig. He just had his dinner, so he should be normal for now. 
Love your bin name. Thank you so much. My Sims 3 game has been acting up today, so I ended up playing Animal Crossing. A lot of people were playing Animal Crossing in the pandemic, I remember. And like rare residents would come and like people would all freak out. I don't know how it worked. I never had the game. I've never played any Animal Crossing game. I, I like I know the basics. It's just never really been my thing. I always played with Bob or Betty or the roommates. Okay, so I always played the goth family. I didn't play the newbies usually, but I always like used them as friends and stuff. I usually played the goth family or I made myself or when I was like 10 with the base game of Sims, like before any expansion packs came out, I used to make all the people I hated and just burn them alive bullies family members like anyone who got in my way oh i love this song this one's the best one the best intro song it's pretty disrespectful to call the recycle bin ea recycling implies that it used to work and has a purpose absolutely right okay so there's what seven or eight neighborhoods in the sims one after all the expansions a couple are kind of blank all the expansion pack stuff here stays the same. I think there's only eight. Kyle, are you done screaming? No, he's not. So this is like the default base game world here. This is like the OG. And if you notice, the map of The Sims 1 is actually similar, if not better, than the map of The Sims 4. Like it's in two dimensional. Kyle, please don't eat that leaf. A leaf blew in and now he's eating it. My goodness. So the goth family, I've played a little bit in this installation. This used to be like my favorite starter home. Let's go in here for a little bit. So this was the most expensive base game starter home that you could purchase with like the starting 20K simoleons. Now, the problem with this house is that since it is like 14,000 something, the Sims 1 has really expensive build buy stuff. So like if you wanted like and keep in mind, this is like a lot of expansion pack stuff. Like the cheapest couch that wasn't awful in the base game was like this one. And then you get like, okay, one of the like not expensive TVs. Oh, let's say we wanted like a plant. And then like you're already at like a thousand. And then God forbid you make a kitchen. Like, look at this stuff. 400 for this. Keep in mind, this is like 25 years ago. Like, my current stove, it costs less than this stove. And this is the cheapest stove. And, like, you don't need a stove. You can get, like, a microwave and stuff. There we go. That's another 1,000. Um, a bed. Oh my god, the bed is so important in this game. If you sleep on the cheap bed, you're screwed. Like, you will never be able to beat it. Bless me. I would usually get this bed if I could afford it. Once I... I forget which expansion pack. This is either Live in Large or House Party, I think. But once this bed came, then I started always getting this bed because it was single and really good sleep. Oh, here's the other fun thing about The Sims 1. If you get a double bed and you move into Sims, they will not sleep in it together because they don't know each other well enough yet. So that's always fun too. So that's my like memory lane of like my basic Sims 1 LP. I would, you know, like at 10 years old, 20 something years ago, I would just move into this house and I would try to give myself everything I needed. I would always have not enough money for everything I needed. And then I would suffer. And as we're gonna see, this game is hard. Okay, I was zooming. So actually what I would like to do is just Oh no, what is this? I think I lived in this house. Oh yes, I burned this house to the ground. Okay, so this is like, this was the house I played for part of my Sims 1 documentary. 
just for some like background footage. Oh God, I did not miss that tile. It's just the weird lighting because of the stairs. Move Objects does exist in The Sims 1, CJ. I know you're trying to troll, but the Move Objects does exist. What we used to do, when I say we, I mean like my cousin and I were like roughly the same age. We used to like put Sims in the shower or bath and then like turn on Move Objects and like remove it. <laughs> open world, this, this world is open as much as The Sims 4 world is. They're, they're the exact same. I think they also do that in The Sims 2. They won't sleep in the same bed. In The Sims 2, it, uh, with one of the expansions, I think, came your ability to make the family tree. So like when you make two Sims in The Sims 2, you can make them married already and then they will use the bed. But I think by default, they're just roommates and you're right, they will not use the double bed. Kyle, what? Why? I give him everything he needs. Everything. Oh my. Oh my God. Say hi, piggy. Look at you. Look at you. But it was 2000 and not 2014, honestly. What I would like to do is maybe move into one of the expansion starter homes here because I never like I there's probably houses here that I've never seen before. Like I just I I always stuck to this side of the map even once the expansions came and a lot of the expansions that I got as a kid like I didn't get all of them. I only got the ones that I was interested in. So I got live in large then house party then Superstar, like those were my three. And they didn't come with these areas. And on top of that, like Superstar came with like, where is it? Studio Town. So like I spent a lot of time here. Oh no, that, that song is copyrighted. We will not be going to Studio Town. I forgot, so there we go. I just heard him meow. Yes, you did. He's still with me. Look at you. He's purring. Say something. Come on. You can do it. He's not gonna do it. He screams when he's not near the microphone, no problem. So let's let's just go into create a family. So uh, the enemies one! I burned all these people alive. I love it. Kyle, stop putting your tail. I never got making Magic or Superstar when I was a kid and I remember I wanted them so bad, honestly. I don't think, cause like, I didn't, I didn't not get any of the ones that I really, really wanted. I got, I got the three I was most interested in, so. But I never ended up with the whole collection until later on, I just bought the complete collection like after The Sims 2 had come out, so it was not very expensive. Just like my cats, they don't want attention till I'm streaming, honestly. And like Kyle will just like leave me alone for like four hours when I'm lonely. Okay, should we make, who should we make as a sim? Should we do Princess EA? Should we do one of the sim, should we make Cemetery? Should we make one of the Sims 2 pre-maids? I already have a Caliente household. <laughs> Actually, let's just pop into that while we think about it. So let me know which sim we should make. We can make Destiny. I'm just gonna pop over to the Calientes. Oh, I gotta show you the Meshuga house too. There she is. No, that's, that's Bob and Eliza pancakes. Here's the Calientes. This is their little condo. I kind of built it in the same style as the Sims 2 house. Oh, I can give it a flat roof. There, they have a flat roof now. 
Yeah, we'll just do it like that. Yeah, so here's the Caliente house. Um, they're not getting along at all. I'm sure I did their personality properly. I did. I made them complete opposites. What's happening? Oh, no, the fish died. Okay, so we've been playing for, what is it, five seconds in live, in live mode, and here we are. We already have death. Here. I'm gonna have Nina do it because she's not lazy. Is there a bald head further though? Cemetery? Okay, everyone's saying cemetery. Let's see if we can find bald or like with a hat that looks bald. You had the fish died. It's like crazy. Nina, I want, I'm gonna have Nina change into her normal. Yeah, you can also change clothes in The Sims 1. <laughs> oh my God, Nina's, Nina's gonna get tickled by Dina. Oh no, she's using Nina's wardrobe. Or sorry, Nina's using Dina's wardrobe. This is Dina's room. This is Nina's room with the heart bed. That's the closest I could get it. Oh, Dina's coming upstairs. Look at their needs. Like, they're just suffering and like, they've just had like a normal day. Is that Nina and Dina in Sims 1? Yes, it is. <laughs> Sims 1 CC shopping, we'll have to use the Wayback Machine. I've never really, like, I tried to use CC when I was like 11 or 12, like after a couple packs came out and like I had access to the internet and stuff, like, but I never really figured it out. Seeing the websites were so funny, honestly. Okay, they're getting along now. Let's just save it. Then we'll go back to the neighborhood. We'll see who else is here. We will make cemetery. I just want to show you what's important. We've seen the pancakes the last time I played The Sims 1. I think we only played the pancakes. And the only way to get back to like neighborhood two is to like click this arrow until you get to back like through neighborhood seven, neighborhood eight, neighborhood one, neighborhood two. One second, my friend texted me. I'm streaming, but I'll end before you get here. Okay, so I will be streaming until about 7 or 7.30, probably somewhere in between there. So let's pick up the pace. The Fab family. Oh, okay. So then if anyone has ever played absolutely fab, sorry, played. If anyone has ever seen the British show Ab Fab or Absolutely Fabulous, I think I made, this is Eddie. Oh my God, Edwina Monsoon. And here's Patsy Stone. And upstairs is Safi Saffron. So there you go. Like if anyone understands that reference, I just thought I would give you a little a little tidbit of how weird I am. Look at her face. It's perfect. Does this not look like her? It's perfect. And this looks like Patsy. No. Okay. Wasn't there McDonald's CC? Maybe. I could see people doing that. If suffering after having a normal day isn't normal, I don't know what is. It's not supposed to be normal. They called this house the vanilla house. Let's look at this. This looks familiar to me. I think this is the house Call Me Kevin uses, right? This does look familiar. Like, I might have used this one too, or I might just remember it from the video. Okay, I want to show you the Meshuga house, then we'll try and make cemetery. So 
So this is like my favorite house in the entire Sims franchise. And it's hideous. The sounds in this game are amazing. Amazing. So this is the house. Um, it is an octagonal pink bungalow with bubble windows. It, it's classic EA style. Classic EA style. And this is the Meshuga family. It's only it's only Frankie and Sylvia Marie. I think Sylvia Marie is like a psychic or something. Yeah, she's a psychic phone friend. And then this guy, Frankie, he's a bungee jump instructor. And they live in this mess. I'm going to I'm going to have him go inside. Oh god. I'm going to have him go inside. Just so that way all the lights turn on. I tried rebuilding this house in The Sims 2, had a romance sim live live there. I've definitely remade this house in other games. Oh, do not go in the pool. So this is the kitchen. It has a minty rug as its floor, minty rug. Uh, it has a zebra door. Uh, look at these heart-shaped chairs, my goodness. And the zebra door, it leads into the zebra room. But why stop with zebra when you can have like panther polka dots or something like, it doesn't make any sense and then leopard print rug jaguar couch like <laughs> like does does every cat have to die for this room to be styled my goodness please recreate please i can do that but i'd have to do it in the sims 3 so that way i could do the create a style actually actually my Sims 2 game has a bunch of Sim, like Sims 1 CC. So like some of my Sims 2 CC is just stuff that's from the Sims 1, if that makes sense. And then, yeah, so my favorite is actually the bathroom because the bathroom has, first of all, it's got this red diamond floor, which I always loved. These are the two floors I'd always choose as a kid. This boomerang one or this star one and always in the red shade. There's better walls than this, by the way, that we could use in this. Look at this door. It doesn't know if it's a diner or a boudoir. And then we've got the Michelangelo's David in the bathroom. Like, it's amazing. Posture alert check. I'm in a good chair. Like, my, my back is rested against the chair. And I can't lean too forward because then I get too close to the microphone. Could probably fix my shoulders. Okay. Um, yeah, so that is the this is the best house in any Sims game, as far as I'm concerned. Let's just That's where that song comes from that like it, it uh intros my streams when you start buying things. Okay. Did I make this? I did, because I named it. Starter. Ew, what did I make? Okay, it's fine. It's very Simsy. I'm glad I did that. Okay, let's go into create a sim. Create a family, actually. Yeah, we can move into this one. We can be friends with the, with, uh, the Meshuga family. Okay. Jalopy. Cemetery. Another text. Perfect. Cemetery. Okay. We're going to click female. And we're just going to remember this is from 20 something years ago. We're lucky to have gay kisses. Okay. Let's see if there's anything bald. Oh, yeah. This is how this is how it's going to be, by the way. This is how this is how creators. Create a family works. Create a sim. Create a family. I love that hair. Like, these clothes. So, like, this is from the base game. And then you have, like, bam, armor. <laughs> Cemetery would be... What is this face? Look at this.
That's true. I don't think there is a bald head. I have a hat idea in mind. Actually, wait. No, it's too... Ooh, we could do it like this. Okay, once once she has the right clothes on, it'll make it'll make more sense. No, I don't like that face. The face and the hairs are as one. Yeah, let's use this one. That's kind of the hat I was thinking of. Cemetery's skinny now, so let's just pick one of the one of the slim bodies. Sims one cast video. Cemetery is potentially a gay icon. That's kind of the look. She's getting older. Because the thing is, is like, do I stick with this? Or do I risk losing it by going forward? Oh, we can dress her like a, like a, a hoochie. <laughs> So many Duke Nukems were probably made in this cast, guaranteed. That's very cemetery. That's kind of giving. I like this. I want to. I'm gonna use this. It's kind of a cross between the Hoochie outfit and Bella Goth. It's like a polymerization. Okay, cemetery is gonna have neat points because. She was doing all of the baby care. She's not lazy. I'll give her active points. She's nice. She's not playful. Like she's not playing with the kids. Maybe I'll do this. Hi, Glitch Art. How are you? After caring for dozens of Amberlyn's children, Cemetery has opted to retire in Old Town. Will she Will she be able to what? She's a Virgo. <laughs> mm, from here she looks like a Pisces. <laughs> Polymerization reminds me of Yu-Gi-Oh. That's how I learned that word. What about obelisk? Where did you learn that word? Probably Yu-Gi-Oh too. Relinquish? <laughs> like, so many good words. I learned from a Japanese children's show. <laughs> like, good, good. Okay. Bella Goth may kiss cemetery. We never know. We never know. Okay. After caring for dozens of Amberlyn's children, has opted to retire in Old Town. Will she be able to make it on her own? I'm just going to leave it generic. It doesn't really matter, I guess. Okay, let's get Cemetery into the world. That's a market. This is a big house. Okay, wait. Before I, like, choose the house, let's just look at it. This is too much. <laughs> I'm enjoying it. She's dressed like a Sagittarius. Yeah, Sagittarius ready for the night. <laughs> this house is... It's giving Aurora skies. Is what it's giving. This wallpaper needs to go. Mm, I don't like it. It's too boxy. I'm glad I didn't buy it. No. I see Cemetery as a classic lesbian aunt. I feel the exact same. I feel the exact same. This looks like a cute house, but someone lives in it. We could kill them. What's this? 
as you can see oh, it's shaped like my favorite house in the other neighborhood but better oh i like this one this is good and it's kind of like a blank slate so like if you want to add color you could add color like you could make the bathroom blue or something but if you just didn't want to bother it's just kind of like neutrals browns beiges I like it. 10 out of 10. Look at this thing. I'm impressed. Even the roof doesn't look awful. I mean, it's the Sims 1, so there are limitations. It has a nice balcony, and we can afford it. Wait a minute. It's kind of like a two-door, and like I don't want to change the style. So let's leave it. I'm just gonna take it as is. I'm not sometimes I'll like delete some wallpapers and put on cheaper ones. I love Aurora Skies. Shame that the lot types are, are are all wrong. Some of the Sims 3 store worlds have like blatant corners cut. Like when they when they name the Sims or like do their relationships or like their builds or like as you get later into it, you get you get problems like where they don't assign things correctly or like all these empty houses all have the same lot description. They just copy and paste it. There are corners cut. Okay. Let's go. This one. I just love the sounds. Ugh, the hot date music. Love it. Okay, that's enough of the musics. Okay, we need... So we have 5,000 simoleons. And we're gonna have to get started. So I'm gonna just build a couple, or not build, I'm just gonna buy a couple things so that way we can survive. So here's the cheapest fridge. You absolutely need a fridge. Your sim will die in about two days without the fridge. Yes, you can order pizza, but then you run out of money. Love this song. I've never used some of the cheap counters from expansion packs before. This is kind of the same style. Oh, I can't, I can't do one a different way, but I bet I could if I put a stove in between them. Maybe not, we'll see. Can I afford a stove? I've already spent a thousand, so we're not gonna have three of those. There we go. You know what? We're not even gonna have that. We're gonna have a microwave until she learns how to cook. We're gonna be on the safe side. So there's toaster oven. The microwave is hunger too. I'm gonna use that. She's gonna have a basic garbage can. I hate that this fridge has to be blue. Buy a good bed first. That's a very good idea. Let's do that. Oh, the bedroom isn't separate. Look at this. It's like, it's like a separate, oh my God, is that a, it's not even a door. It's only like a door frame. So it's giving like in a good way, like Monte Vista. Interesting. I like, I like that it's unique. I don't like how fitting a double bed here is nearly impossible, but we didn't move into Sims, so it's okay. Okay, comfort eight, energy eight, comfort nine, energy eight. Ugh, comfort seven, that's not gonna work. Yeah, let's let's do this one. Reproduction antique bed. Should we put it here or here? Let's let's just do it in here. Okay, we need a phone. Ooh, I'll put the wall one right in the hallway. Okay, this, okay, we need a bathroom. We have no bathroom. <laughs> we have no bathroom and we are running out of money. Okay, can I fit everything I need in here? I'm glad we only have one sim. This, this bathroom is a weird shape. Okay, what's our cheapest sink? 229 plus a counter or fork? Probably this one. Okay, I'm gonna put the sink there strategically. We're, I'm, I'm gonna do a shower, so that way we don't have to worry about 
spending. Where should, but there's no good place for the shower. That's the problem. Come on. There we go. How does that look? That's probably as good as it's going to get. I like how it has two bathroom doors. I'll give it that. Like, what should I do? Should I do it like this? One second. It's got three doors. It's got three bathroom doors. That's kind of part of the problem. I'm just going to do it like this. I think I think this is my best way. Why have a sink when you have a shower? That's a good point, but like we need to wash dishes. Here, wait. We're already almost broke. Like this is <laughs> Okay, the sink actually fits in here. So what I might do is move that over. There, we'll just do it like this. I might delete this door. I don't think this door is necessary. That's a good point. See, now the bathroom all of a sudden feels like way bigger, way bigger. There, I'll just do it like that. Okay, so we have a way to eat, a way to go to the bathroom, a way to wash the dishes, a way to call people. We have the bedroom. Okay, let's let's start thinking about somewhere to sit because <laughs> we haven't done that yet. Bless me. We're going to do a two-seater. Oh, God. We do need, like, a TV. Like, that's, that's all, like, without any fun, she's not, she's not going to want to do anything. Do, 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 do. Hmm, bookshelf. You need a bookshelf. If you don't have a bookshelf, you're going to cause fires. Fire alarm. See, like, the thing is, I can't afford the burglar alarm. Like, I can't afford the burglar alarm. I can afford the fire alarm. Oh, I can. I can. Okay, let's do that then. Okay, so we have the burglar alarm. See you, CJ. Bye. Oh, it is already that time. My goodness. Okay, so as we can see... The servo robot is 15,000, so we're not gonna be getting that. So I have a bookshelf, I have a TV, a phone. Let's just jump in. We have 86 simoleons, though that's gonna suck for now. Let's just jump in. So she's gonna look at the magazine. Mystery Man's gonna bring us magic stuff. How much is a barbecue? I think 500. Oh, 249. Oh, 350. Yeah, I'm thinking of the wrong game. They have the Monte Vista pizza oven. I like that barbecue, actually. I used to use this one. I also, like, I think this one came with house party. Maybe house party or live in large, but like a stovetop burner. I really liked that too. The cooktop. Okay. No, oh, no. We are not getting a talent agent. Okay, find a job. What? Okay, and by the way, there's only one job in the newspaper. So we're going to have to take that job. Military recruit. It does pay 250. I think that's the highest paying base game career. So let's accept the job. And then if we don't like it, we'll get we'll get rid of it later. And I just and I just saw a way where we can get back some money. I don't like this hardwood outside. Oh, I'm on the second floor. So I'm gonna get back my money. And then I'm gonna put something cheap. 
not black linoleum. How about gravel? And we'll just do one strip. Perfect. This is a lot of flowers. By the way, all these flowers, they're gonna die because I have to... Oh, a lamp. I didn't... I don't have any lighting. Okay, let's see if I can... What's the cheapest lighting? There. We'll put one in there. Put one in the bathroom. And then we'll put a slightly nicer one in the bedroom. How about that? The hardwood outside is classic Sims 1. It is classic Sims 1. Actually, you know what? Let's see if we can redecorate to get a little bit more money. Because how much is this? Six simoleons. If I can find something cheaper and better, I'll use it. Peach carpet. Sounds good to me. Here, I'll just take that back. Oh, no. Oh, by the way, control Z does not work. Just so everyone knows. Okay, peach carpet. Let's get some, some sort of tile. By the way, this is grouped by price. So if you go just go to the end, this is like the most expensive floor. So if you just stay on this side of the list, then you know that you're gonna be able to afford it. Because price is the most important thing in this game, price. Not style. Price, then function, then style. Okay, we're in seven simoleon range, so we gotta go back. I never liked these swatches. This is too brandy broke. That's the blue one. It doesn't go with our blue. Ew. I'm not doing that. I'm trying to see one that, like, looks tile -y. I used to use this... This one, let's just do this. We'll make it 50s. You can cheese friends by putting a family with seven kids in the neighborhood and having and having one yourself, honestly. Yes, because they, they can all be friends with each other. Usually it's easier in The Sims 1. Nine simoleons, I'm gonna get a cheaper wood. Oops. But yeah, it's way easier to play The Sims 1 with two people, like two Sims. So that way one can work and one can make friends. And you make their personalities assigned for that. Hmm. Yeah, I'm just gonna use this. And in fact, Let's delete it here too. Cause we're get like, look at how much money we have back. I'm gonna make this all gravel too. You can't use the eyedropper tool either. There we go, we'll do gravel. And now we have 500 simoleons left, so maybe we can actually, oh my God, the other thing, stairs. Stairs are so expensive. So how much is this? 720? How much is, oh, never mind, never mind. We already had cheaper stairs, I guess. Oh, they probably de devalued and they're only 900 anyway. Cause some of the staircases are just crazy expensive. Okay, do you know what this is? A teleporting pad. It just works as an elevator. It just brings you upstairs. It teleports you upstairs and you can die from it. Yes, you can. Of course you can. So I'm gonna ignore these two rooms cause I don't know, I don't have any money to put anything in them. So let's just get this started. So the first thing you do in The Sims 1, you immediately study cooking from the cookbook. And in fact, mechanical would be a good idea too. Just like spend your first day studying cooking, studying mechanical. You need at least two cooking points before it's safe to cook. One cooking point, I don't even think it makes any difference. Like from my experience, if I have one cooking point, there's a fire. If I have two cooking points, there's never a fire. Sims came at such a great time. There really weren't any other games like it out there. It was like groundbreaking. 
Like, we just couldn't believe it. And the other thing Sims 1 is good for is this. Speed 3. It runs like a dream. Now we have one cooking point. Oh, God. We have... Oh, this... The Meshuga family is here. The ones with that house that I like. So let's shake hands with both of them. She doesn't really like people. The other thing about being a shy Sim in The Sims 1 is that, so if you have low outgoing points, so we only have two outgoing points, our social need doesn't drop very fast. If you have a lot of outgoing points, it's easier to socialize, but your social meter drops a lot faster. Your personality also dictates how much fun you get from watching certain TV shows on the TV. This is all base game stuff, by the way. Do you know how to cheat skill points in The Sims 1? I do not. If you know how, let me know. You cannot cheat needs in The Sims 1. So if you have like low fun and you want to like drag it up, nope. You want to click the mailbox and increase all the motives? Nope. None of that. None of that exists. I'm going to admire her. And the simlish in this game is fantastic. Oh, he didn't like that we admired her because they're married. Oh, he slapped her. We're already getting slapped. <laughs> Ding dong. Who are you, Genia? Greet. Okay, now she, see, she likes us. Of course, because we are, because we're the lesbian. Oh yeah, if you move objects and delete them, it can it can it can reset them. I don't like cheating in this game anyway. Like part of the fun is the challenge. Okay, our social need is back up. I'm gonna say goodbye. Shake hands. Say goodbye. Oh no, do not invite downtown. We cannot afford that. We're gonna say goodbye. Shake hands. And then for Sylvia Marie, we're going to hug. <laughs> She's probably not going to like it. Ah. Uh -uh. Oh, no, she didn't like it. Oh, well. I told you to leave. Okay, she's gone. Okay, we have to watch TV. So let's just flip through the channels and see which one gives us the most fun. I don't... I've never played The Sims 1. It really scares me how hard it is. It isn't that hard once you learn the basics. It's pretty formulaic the first few days though. I agree, the first parts are harder than the last and like you just have to make smart choices. Like all of these plants is not a smart choice. So we're watching action, I think. So she likes action, so it's going up pretty good. So I'm gonna keep it at action, but watch if we switch it to horror, She doesn't like it as much. Oh, she likes it a little bit. Let's go to cartoons, because I know she has low, low playfulness. Yeah, so I speed, so I speed three it, and then like it doesn't go up nearly as much. So you just, I think it's like low playful. They don't like cartoon as much. Higher active, they like action. I forget them exactly, but they like the Sims one. It's all, it's all down to numbers. And of course, in that sense, they can like two channels. If you have max personality in two stats and like nothing in anything else, then they might like two different channels. 
Okay, she's done with the TV. I'm gonna have her turn it off. She has to pee. It blurs them, but there is a way to make it not blur them. <laughs> okay. Okay, she's gonna wash her hands. Oh, cause she's a neat sim, so she will always wash her hands after she's done going to the bathroom. Low nice equals likes horror. Yes. Off topic, but Stardew Valley just got a major update and I might be it might be one of the only games I recommend full full price. Like in the first of all, full full price it's not expensive. Cuz it was made by one person, so he just gets all the money. So that's good. I I also recommend Stardew Valley. Like if you're one of those people who just never played it yet, try it. It's worth it. Okay, she's gonna use the microphone, microphone, microwave. You can still start fires, I think, with the toaster oven. Maybe not, don't quote me on it. Beep, beep. There we go. Candy Queen says she might get it. Oh no, she has to eat standing up. Let's see if we can afford one table and one chair. We'll make, we'll make the dining room. Why is this more expensive than this? We have a good job, it's fine. Oh, we can't, okay, we can afford this chair. I want this one, but it's 200. <laughs> it's a deck chair, I don't want it. Okay, I don't want it then. We'll do it later. Okay, and she has to wake up at like six in the morning. So I'm gonna have her water the flowers. If she doesn't water these flowers, she will never get a promotion because it'll just bring down the room score and then she won't do well. So I'm gonna have her garden until she's tired. Then we're gonna go to bed. Look at all these animals. Be begged, be rubbed, be begged, be rubbed. And these animals can go to the bathroom like in the corners of the lots and that'll also make it harder for you to get a promotion. I spent too much this month on all those Sims 3 packs. I gotta save. Oh no. I guess when there's a sale, you may as well do it. Okay, she's getting really tired, which is good because it's because it's 7 p.m. She has to work like first, like at the crack of dawn. Let's see if she can finish all these. Hope you like gardening for three hours a day. Yeah, she's done. She's exhausted. Okay, let's go to sleep. You can have a shower in the morning. Let's see if her energy and her comfort actually get filled by the morning. Oh, she's hungry again. Great. This is a good bed at least. But we're probably not gonna get to max. Oh, okay, we can, we can do that. Have a quick breakfast, take a shower. Oh, the carpool's gonna be here in an hour. We don't have enough time for both. Okay, she can eat her food. I'm gonna have her use the bathroom. Oh, and the, the carpool like disappears right at the hour. So like if you're not out there and in the car, it's not gonna work. Here it is. Go to work. Okay, we've got two green bars in the mood rating. That's really good, like really good. Like if you've ever played this game, you're lucky to be at neutral. Stop washing your hands, they're gonna leave. Like in The Sims 3, if the game knows that you have the, like if they're walking towards the school bus or towards something like that, then it'll wait, but not in The Sims 1. Okay, let's fast forward through the day. Till we get the money.
Just surviving in The Sims 1 is more work than being the ante in The Sims 300 Baby Challenge. That is the truth. Okay, we didn't get promoted. But I'm going to recycle. Because she doesn't like messes. I'm just going to speed through till the second day. Let's watch some TV. Then we're going to take a shower. Have lunch. Perfect. Water the plants. You know, she's exhausted. What's this? A raccoon. Shoo! Clean up this mess. See, they go to the bathroom in the corners. I hate Kate. My least favorite expansion pack is Unleashed. Oh, yeah, she's too tired. Okay. She needs to just go to bed. Yep. Look at our needs already. We're doing so well. Maybe call what's her name on the phone and try to be her friend. She is a psychic phone friend. That would probably be our best option for a friend. Okay, let's see. Let's see how this goes. I think max career should be a speed run category for The Sims 1. Why are there so many animals? I don't know. I don't know. I hate it. Because then just because of this P... Then your room score goes down to the red when you're outside. So when you go to the carpool, you think you're going to have a good day and you're like, nope. The game just, just will not allow that. Okay, I'm going to pick bladder. And then I'm going to pick have quick breakfast. Perfect. So we only have one bar today. Notice how the room bar is so low. That's because of this. <laughs> they are strays. It's just like a Sims 3 play when like all when like all the animals are all over the place. See, we didn't get promoted. We're also only doing average. Like, we're not even in the good at work yet. Okay. I'm going to have a quick lunch. Watch some TV. Oh, no. Then I'm going to clean everything up. Okay, the puddle's gone. That puddle's gone. They'll probably be back in the morning. Who's this? Why are they? No, there's a puddle here. Okay, I'm going to clean that up, too. Clean up. Let's get it together. Perfect. The good thing about having an early job is that the newspaper doesn't go bad until after you leave for work, too. Sorry, Jan. I can't give you the promotion. You, The cat peed at the end of the street. Literally. Is there a sign that does that? Is it in build mode? I don't, because like, I don't know anything about that. Is it, is, is it here? Is it expensive? Oh my God, birds. Look at the cat tree. Seconding the pet prevention system sign. It's cheap too. Where is it? Is it in build mode or buy mode? I'm just going to go to everything. Buy mode, I believe it's in de decor other. <gasps> I never knew this existed. I'm going to buy two. Perfect. There's another puddle. Like, I didn't deserve this. Are they leaving? Um, more are arriving. God. Okay, clean up that. 
Now watch some TV. Take a shower. She loves this channel. I'm so happy. Take a shower. She was going to do that automatically. Go to bed. You can eat in the morning. I left the TV on. Oh, yeah. By the way, bills are going to show up soon. Thank you. So, oh no, there's roaches. We don't deserve this. Oh my God. Maybe it's a sign for Cemetery to adopt all the cats and become a cat lady. There is a crazy cat lady in this game. My friend's gonna be coming soon. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna play another day. I'll, I'll show you the crazy cat lady. We'll chat, then I have to go. I'm sorry to be a little shorter than usual, but I will, I think I'm gonna play The Sims 1 again. Like I've got the, I've got the itch. Cemetery, wake up. Now, have quick breakfast. I can't believe we got roaches. We have barely any hunger points. We have two mood bars. That's pretty good. I just want a promotion. I'll play another day if I don't get a promotion now. Oh, there's no weekends in The Sims 1. You work every day. Genia Cat is an icon. Yeah, we met her already. The Cat Lady. Okay, all of our flowers are blooming. That's good. Because we took care of them. Unlike the fish. Okay, we don't have that. We're still at average performance. Okay, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to do another day. In fact, she has some money. I'm going to buy her stuff. So the purpose of this game is not to make your perfect house and move in your perfect sim and like live like that. Like you're supposed to do it like this. Like when I say supposed to, I mean like the way they designed it. You're supposed to start with like the cheapest of everything. And then once you work and you earn some money, then you pop into buy mode. You buy maybe a slightly better bed. Maybe you buy a stove instead of a microwave. Maybe you buy a computer. Like, you know, like you, you do slow upgrades. And I think that's the best way to play this game. Okie doke. In fact, I'm gonna delete the microwave because we're not gonna need that. I'm gonna delete that counter. We can afford this one. I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna get this one for now. Um, what else could we use? We could use maybe like a little decoration inside, like a plant. Let's do the rubber tree plant. Sometimes I get the rubber tree plant. Sometimes I get the cactus. And sometimes I I, uh, I pick this, this one, but I don't choose any others and I don't know why. There's a mod that adds weekends. That would be cool. Oh yeah, we want a dining set. Yes, and I know that you can, so like you can miss one day of work. When you miss two days of work in a row, then you're fired. So, but that's not true with children. Children have to go to school. They have to go to school. If they do not go to school or they're not in a good mood when they go to school, they will be sent to military school and they will disappear, disappear. They never come back. They can't be adopted back. Uh, they can't, they're, they're not moved into the sim bin. They're just gone forever. Okay, we're gonna get one chair. Hi, Day, how are you? My friend's coming soon, so I'm not playing too much longer, but I, I'm trying to get a promotion in The Sims 1. Okay, go to the bathroom. What time is it? Yeah, I can do that. Okay, I'm gonna do one more day. Let's go. So we've done that. We probably don't have to do the plants today. I'm gonna check for outside. Okay, we should be good for that. Oh, she's sitting in the new chair. Shoo, Buzz, shoo. Go away. He's gone. See, now it's like, what do we do? I'm gonna water the plants again. And then I'm gonna have her make a nice meal. I'm not gonna do all of them. Okay, stop, who's that? Oh, it's Tiffany. Too bad it's not breakfast. Say goodbye. We we met her. That's enough. Okay. Have dinner. 
Oh, we didn't do the cooking points. I should. Oh, we only have one cooking point. I'm glad that. I'm glad we didn't have the fire. That would have been a fun ending. Okay, we ate. We're gonna study cooking until she can't no more. Okay, now we have two cooking skill points. We're gonna watch TV. And then I'm gonna send her to bed. Okay, now now her social's like halfway down. So if she was outgoing, she would be in the red already. Maybe you could get away with working every other day. You can, but you don't get the money when you don't go to work. Tiffany, it's not breakfast, lol. I don't know why I think of things like that. I just pops in my head and I say it. Okay, carpool will arrive. Excellent. Use the bathroom. Have a quick meal. I'm going to see if she has time to eat it. She had enough time to eat some of it. Go to work now. She's going to run, though. Watch. 551, 552, 553. She made it. Now we have bills. Please get a promotion. I deserve it. I deserve it. If I don't get it, I don't get it. And then I'll save. Okay, I didn't get promoted. Okay, well, get mail. 139, that's not too bad. We have 712. We have not cleaned up outside in a while. I'm just gonna save it. Oh no. But yeah, so that's, if you've ever played The Sims 1, here is The Sims 1. Let's go check out that crazy cat lady. Where does she live? Somewhere here. Yes. So this is Genia, the crazy cat lady. Look at her house. I like her house. It's actually kind of cute. I don't like this tile outside. Why is it missing one square? It's missing other squares, but at least there's bushes there. Look at these cats. I like the styling of this. I think it's perfect. They they picked the perfect items. The grandfather clock, the fireplace, the two portraits, the bird cage, the piano, the wooden spiral staircase. Maybe not the bedroom wallpaper, but maybe. Maybe. The scary sound that plays when work calls after you miss a day always keeps me from skipping work. It makes you feel bad about yourself. Like... The sound in The Sims 1, I think, is the best that we've ever had. The music is the best. The sound effects are the best. Like, it's just... I really feel it when I'm playing this game. Or sometimes you just do some jazz. Okay, we're going to save the game twice for good measure. Okay, oh god. Let's see what I can do. Okay. Well, it was short but sweet but I enjoyed it. And I changed all my sound settings. So next time I have to play The Sims 3, I have to change them all back, but that'll be fine. But I did enjoy playing The Sims 1. Nice to get back into it. Like I said, it's something I kind of pick up off of camera quite a bit, but it's been a while. But it is one of those games where like, if you don't know what you're doing or you're playing it like a different Sims game, like if you've only ever played The Sims 4, The Sims 1 is not gonna make any sense to you. But if you've played like Sims 2 and 3, you can get it. Like a lot of the mechanics are the same in The Sims 1 and The Sims 2. Personality points, the way certain things work, like how often they clean, like all these things being numerically timed. In The Sims 3, everything gets a little bit more gray area. And in The Sims 4, there just isn't personality, right? So there we go. It should be on Mod The Sims. Yes, probably. I love, I love Mod The Sims. We know you love Neighborhood 2. It's like... I love, I love Neighborhood 2, I love Bi-Mode 2, Bi-Mode 4, 
Um, the build mode ones I like, but they're not stand out. I don't think they're right for the channel. They're too like jazzy, but anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the live stream and spending a little bit of time in the Sims one. I'll see you next week. I hope everyone has a great long weekend. Um, yeah, I'll just let you know either in my discord or on the community tab, what we're going to do next and like when we're going to do it because I'm off Monday as well. So I'm not sure if I'll stream Tuesday or not. I'll definitely stream Thursday though. Cause I only have a four day week at work next, next week anyway. But anyway, thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed the stream. Make sure to like the stream before you go and subscribe to make sure you don't miss the next one. Bye star stuff. Bye shoddy slaws. Bye Athena. Bye Joe and Ariana. Bye Watani. Bye Brizzy Bell. Bye Lenny crew. Bye star stuff. Bye Karan. Bye, Candy Queen. Bye, Weight Lock. And bye, Tufo. Tufu. We'll see you all in the next one. Bye, everybody.